Well, it's, uh, it's homecoming week here at the University of Miami, and in that spirit, I've invited an alumni to talk about the good old days. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Gerald Big Jerry Jones. Give it up. Thanks for being here. Yep. Appreciate that. Thank you for having me. Now, uh, it's uh, nice of you to come. It's, it's really nice of you. Yeah, it's nice to be on here. The comm school's come a long way since I, you know, since I was a student here. Back in my day, it was a wooden shack. Oh, I guess it must have seemed like that in the time. Oh no, it was a wooden shack attached to an outhouse. There was a hidden camera in there, a camera in there, and that's where uh, UMTV used to get a lot of its programming. That is, of course, until the liberal media stepped in and ruined everything. Wow. Okay. How interesting. Well, uh, it's homecoming week, so did you guys have any uh, traditions back then? Oh boy, did we ever! Nothing like the stuff you kids try to pass off today. We used to do the freak, the freak beat. Was that when all the freaky kids came out and wreaked havoc? Well. Sort of, except we would then pelt those kids with, uh, you know, stones and sometimes batteries. <laughs> and you did it just because they were freaks? Oh, no, not just freaks. Queers, tards, ethnics, you know, whoever did the most damage was awarded homecoming king. I won it back in 85 for hitting the dean with a brick. <laughs> Best year of my life. So that means the, the dean was either a tard or a queer. According to my postulations, I'll uh, I'll let you decide. Maybe that, that, ethnic. That that is awful. Uh, did you ever have any traditions that didn't involve hurting anybody? You ever hear of a panty raid? Now that is something that I can get behind. Yeah, yeah. Me and the boys, we used to go down to any of the sorority houses and just just raid them. That is awesome up here. Yeah. Then we'd hog tie them up, tattoo whore across their head, and send the photos to their pops. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That is just messed up. What's wrong with you? Well, they didn't call us the sick click down at TKU for nothing. Wait, TKU? W weren't you guys kicked off a of campus for uh... killing a whole pledge class? Yeah, guilty as charged. You know, you know, we we doused them in booze and had them do a flaming limbo. How were we supposed to know 151 was gonna light them up and be all flammable? <laughs> what did you say your major was, Jerry? Chemistry. <laughs> well, let's wrap this up before I completely lose faith in all of humanity. Um, thanks for coming on the show. I really appreciate it, Jerry. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me, Ben. But I do have one quick question. I noticed your glasses there. They're really nice. Mind if I take a look yeah, at yeah, those? Yeah, yeah, Go ahead. These are really sharp. What? The, those are Dolce & Gabbana, I think. Sorry, Ben. Old, old habits die hard, like hate crimes. <laughs> Big J, everybody. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm actually gonna need my real glasses back. Thank I you. Guess you can have those. Um, and now let's catch up with our off the wire correspondent Eddie Malden, who was fortunate enough to hang out with John DiMaggio and Billy West from Futurama at this past Comic Con convention. Take it away, Eddie. <laughs> So I'm here with uh, John DiMaggio. John DiMaggio, yeah. famous voice actor. What what uh, what are some of the voices you've done? Well, I really can't remember right now, but there's all sorts of things that I've done. Yes. Okay, uh, I'm here with uh, voice actor Billy West. How's it going, Billy? I'm not bleeding from any holes, so I must be doing okay. It's a good. That's 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 always a good thing. But I'm happy to be here. So that's great, man. That's Super great. Fun. Con. Super con. Super con. Meeting some great fans. Meeting some fans. A few nerds. And Not many few. nerds. A few? A few a weird whole. ones every once in a while. A little creepy people, a little anything like that. I was one of them. People walking around in ninja costumes for no reason. If you don't get home by 8 o'clock before my story starts, I swear to God, no meatballs! The high school kids these days are all on steroids, though. That, that kind of hurts. I thought it was ecstasy. What's your favorite voice do you like to do? Is there anyone you like to do more than anyone else? I like to do this one around the house in a towel. I did Philip J. Fry, 25 year old pizza delivery boy. But well, man, all this constant exposure to radiation is making me thirsty. It works, it works. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just blew the audio. <laughs> and Dr. Zoidberg, young lady, open up your clavicle and let me have a look. It's your Sylvester Stallone impression. Yeah. Chris, baby. My favorite uh, Rocky line was, uh, Hey, you have no fun, boys. Hey, hold on a second. Hey, oh, please, this is with me. I'll call you later. See ya. I hear you're doing Rocky Five, right? I know, I'm doing Rocky Six. You doing Rocky Six? It's called, um, it's called Rocky Six, The Tap Out. It's like Raging Bull, but with a lot more alcohol. Yeah, Raging Bull, the Velveeta years. How would, uh, how do you think Stimpy would say, uh, go Canes? Go Canes! Go Canes! Go Canes! Did I say it right? How, how do you think uh, Bender would root for the Canes? Bender would not root for the Canes. And not only that, he would not put money on him. That is not a Canes fan. No way! No way, Jose! He doesn't bet on college football. All the bets on the pros, baby. That's where the real money's at. And cockfights. And cockfighting. Plenty of roosters going at it with blades, knives. I saw a rooster with the news in the other day. It was awesome. He wiped out 16 chickens. Is it, is, yeah, is it a, we can call it. We can call it. Run out of footage. All right, call it. Call it right now. And cut. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, as if those interviews weren't enough, we brought the live in the flesh winner of Miss UM on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Haife Khalil. I want to thank you for wearing heels so that you make me look even shorter than I already am. No problem. Now, uh, you and I know each other outside of this, uh, this school. We're actually really good friends. but. Um, I've known, ever since I've known you, you've uh, been involved in like pageants and stuff like that. Uh, when, when did you first get started? Actually, my first pageant was Homecoming Queen last year. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong. Yeah, you were very wrong. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I had never done a pageant before that. And one of the judges, Richard Walker, suggested that I run for Miss UM that same year. And I was like, oh, whatever, I don't know. And he's like, no, you, you have to do it. And I was like, OK, I'll do it then. And then I won. So. Yeah, that's how it happened. Yeah, I, yeah. Just I've nonchalantly. Never... <laughs> and then I won. You know, I just... Uh, it sucks. It was a very uh, good experience. <laughs> now, what exactly... Everybody has to have, like, a talent. What, what, what did you do as your talent? Um, I danced a classical piece, a ballet piece called Esmeralda. Ah. Mm -hmm. I, I danced in the last... Sh uh, no, two shows ago. Yeah. Uh, I did a little pole dance. That was... <laughs> I was sexy. Mine's nothing like that. No. I'm sure they're very similar. There've got to be similarities between our two dances. No, right? no, not at all. No? No. 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 Now, correct me if I'm wrong, or, or you know, you can ruin my dream if if you want to. Backstage of the uh, uh, the pageants, is everyone walking around naked? Because that's the way I imagine it. Kind of. <laughs> Re oh, really? Wow. Well, I mean, you have quick changes and stuff, so. Oh. I mean, we don't walk around like looking at each other. That's weird. <laughs> See, that would be the exact thing I would do. I think. I know that's. A... I wouldn't even bother getting dressed. I'd just be like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> now, after winning uh, Miss University of Miami, where did you go from there? What did that? I... What opportunities opened up? Well, there's two different systems. There's the Miss USA system and the Miss America system. The Miss USA, the Miss USA system is the one that Donald Trump own owns. I competed in the Miss America system, and that one has a talent round versus the Miss USA system that doesn't. And so I competed in the Miss, Ameri Miss Florida Miss America program, um, and that was in July. And yeah, I placed top 10, which was really, really cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and it's totally unexpected. Like, not being a pageant person didn't really. Are you allowed to run again next year? Not as Miss UM, but I can go for another local title. And then if I win that one, then I would return to Miss Florida. So you were top 10. So that means at least I have to kill nine people in order to make you number one, right? Right. Possible. Yeah. That's definitely possible. <laughs> now, you know, as, as you were, as you, you did your talent, you know, you did the, I guess, the, the gown. Uh, how did you like the uh, bikini portion of that uh, pageant? Um, it was interesting. I don't, it's kind of weird because you 